solution here is correct. And then finally, my last uh, last question of the day, number 11, is asking, how do you prove uh, d over dx of secant x equals secant x times tangent x? So prove that, uh, so this is uh, simply a proof, uh, the derivative of secant x equals, this is secant x times tangent x. So how do we prove this? Again, we can't really um, we can't really do anything to the right side here. We're going to do something to the left side here. So I know that derivative of secant x also equals the derivative of one over cosine, right? So this is one over cos x would equal uh, secant x, right? This is simply my uh, this is sim that was simply the um, the uh, the inverse or the reciprocal uh, trigonometric uh, ratio for this is not the inverse sorry the reciprocal uh, trigonometric ratio for uh, cosine right is secant x that's good we can rewrite secant uh, or cosine x as also equal to uh, diff, uh, the derivative of cos x to the power of negative one, right? So this here is to the power of negative one. Um, I'm, uh, if we're taking anything to the power of one, negative one, I'm simply just, it's simply just one over that thing as well. And what we can do is now we can actually do our, um, our, our derivative rules, right? We can do the power rule to this, right? So if I have d over dx, um, if I'm taking the derivative of cosine x here, this would equal, or cosine x to the power of negative one, I'm gonna maybe continue here. This would equal, I would basically take my power here and I would basically, um, I'm, I'm, I'm subtracting it by one. So I would have basically, this is cos x to the power of negative two and then times, times, uh, times the derivative of the inside here, which is um, derivative of cos x is negative sine x, right? Which here is, this is negative sine x here. So this here would be my um, would be my derivative derivative of uh, the the uh, cosine x, and as you can see here, they did the they did the u substitution, which is totally fine here. Um, if uh, and this actually it could make it actually a bit easier here. So maybe 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 I'll maybe I'll write that down for you, and we'll, we'll we can um, I can figure that out for you. So they basically said that let u equals cos x. So they have d over dx equals u to the power of negative one. And then what they're doing here is this is simply just negative u. Um, they're taking d of du over d. Oh, so they're now they're, they're changing it between uh, basically to d d d d of du here. So sorry, this is d over du. And then basically they have here this is negative uh, of of to the power of negative one equals I'm bringing the negative one down. And then, um, so this here is the, I'm bringing the negative one down. So this would be negative one here times u to the power of, um, to the power of uh, u squared here, u squared. I believe that's negative two squared actually, because I'm subtracting it by, subtracting it by two here. So we got negative u squared, right? Which is simply negative one times u to the power of negative two. So I can then, um, I can then, I, what I can do is I can plug in my cosine again here and I would get, um, this here would be, uh, this here. And then what they did here, do we do over dx is, uh, derivative of cos x over dx, which is equal to negative sine x. Like I did over here. That's good. Negative sine x here and I'm negative one divided by, uh, divided by cosine x squared. So I have negative one here over cos x squared, which is what I have here. Uh, times negative sine x, right? Times negative sine x here. So this here is uh, this here is my derivative of this function here, and then what I'm doing is I'm simply just proving this I didn't know. This will equal secant x times some sine x, right? So I can basically these these negatives cancel out. So I have sine x over cosine x squared, or I can say it's actually cosine x squared like this. And this here. Again, sine over cosine is tangent, right? So I can take out a sine and a cosine here, which is tangent x times, and then this is simply just one over cosine here. And this here would equal tangent x times secant x here. So this here will be my solution for this problem here. I th believe that I, I think I actually, uh, no, I didn't actually, uh, I don't think I did anything wrong here. Because this here, instead of they did a u substitution here, this, um, this, this derivative is also correct here, right? Because I have here, this is negative, 
I forgot to take the negative one down, actually. The negative one down is my fault because I forgot to bring this guy down when we're taking the derivative here. But if I'm negative one here over, over cos squared x times negative sine x, and this would be basically the exact same, uh, same solution as, uh, as this guy here. So it's the same steps when we're going towards here. So uh, this here is the correct solution. Again, this here is also the correct solution. They decided to do a U substitution. I just uh, took the derivative of it directly, but it's totally fine. So this here is a good solution analysis here. So the solution here is correct. It's simply just a, it's a derivative question. It's a derivative of a trigonometric ratio, uh, trigonometric function in this equation, and they also threw an identity as us as well. Uh, at us as well. So basically that's how you would solve this problem. All right, so uh, this can come to my end of my video here. Again, thank you so much for watching um, my stream. Again, I stream math from basically Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and chemistry on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, so you can stay tuned for that. Again, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you're participating um, and you're following along with me, that's great. Um, thank you so much for that. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, tomorrow I'm going to stream some chemistry, and then Friday I'm going to stream uh, some math for you, so you can stay tuned for that. Again, uh, if you want to pause uh, this video, again, these videos are always uploaded to our YouTube channel at oneclass.com slash YouTube. So you can check us out there. Uh, you can give us a follow or subscribe, and then you'll be able to keep up with the latest videos uh, with for these problems here. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, take care, stay safe, and have a great day. Cheers.